Hi, my name is Tanya, and welcome to my YouTube channel, The Flip Out. Uh, this will be my first official video of a thrift haul for 2023. Um, I've done a couple of videos where I'm just kind of playing around and showing you some Dollar Tree hauls or playing with my dog. Um, but it is time to get serious about this channel and start getting some content loaded. Uh, I'm really excited. I've procrastinated, for lack of a better word, for many reasons. One, I just didn't know if the season was right for me to start posting videos um, on a regular basis, and I still don't know how regular these videos will be, but the most important thing is, is I am ready to start. So, uh, no, I am not in my full glam mode. This is me. This is what I look like when I am in my um, craft studio painting. And these are my well-worn overalls with paint splattered. And this is, this is the real me. So a lot of my videos I've decided um, may not always be where I'm full face makeup, clothes, and uh, this is where I'm most comfortable. The, these are the clothes that I'm comfortable in and uh, in my overalls, in my paint clothes and whatnot. But the most important thing that I decided today was to just start. And that has been the hardest thing for me to do trying to figure out the direction of this channel and where to begin. So I figured today to just start since I um, had a little time last weekend to just look around my craft studio, get some things cleaned up, cleared out, organized a little bit. It's still not exactly where I want it to be in terms of organization, but it has come a long way since last weekend and since the months prior. It has been really chaotic inside of my craft studio. But the good thing about a uh, uh, craft studio when things are everywhere and it's a mess and you have paint brushes and just jars of paint and all of your crafting supplies, it means that you're creating in a uh, organized craft studio, yeah, it means you're organized, but it also means maybe some things are not getting done. And I don't know how long the, this degree of neatness will last, but this is how far I have come in terms of uh, organizing some of my thrift hauls, my most recent thrift, thrift hauls, my most recent thrift hauls. Uh, this is a three-tier shelf, and I've just put some items up here, and also back behind me is a bookcase that we have had in our household for maybe 20 plus years. Uh, it's an Ikea bookcase, maybe not quite a yeah, maybe 20 years. Uh, it's an Ikea bookcase, and we just can't seem to part with it. It used to be my oldest daughter's bookcase. Then it was handed down to my youngest daughter. And then when it no longer served her um, vibe for what she is looking to create in her room, um, we decided to move it into the craft studio. And what a great decision that it was to move the... Uh, hand-me-down bookcase into my craft studio and this Ikea bookcase even though it's not solid wood it has served us well for a good number of years and now it is holding a lot of my craft supplies these are some beads that I have and just various things that um some vintage clothes pins um just different things that I can visualize and be able to see 
Uh, here is some paint samples that a wonderful friend of mine, whenever she has a paint project at home, she will uh, give me her paint samples that she has left over. And when I tell you left over there, these are practically filled to the top. So, um, huge shout out to my best, my, my bestie mom, uh, for keeping me stocked with these lovely colors, which I, uh, use with a lot of my paint creations and create my own version of chalk paint. And uh, some more crafting uh, supplies are over here. My hot glue gun and just some odds and ends. So to begin with, I thought I would make this a thrift haul video where I show you the things that I have recently found on my journeys, my little weekend excursions, junking, uh, yard selling, and everything in between. Uh, the flip, the, this channel, the flip out is a lifestyle channel and it's not necessarily going to always be thrift hauls, uh, but it'll be a mix of different things such as, uh, showcasing, um, it will be a mix of different things. Uh, and we can talk about what book I'm reading or we can talk about things that I've recently picked up on my thrifting adventures or we'll do a project where we remake we make over or restyle a piece and get it ready to go into my vintage booth I have a local booth that I rent at an antique mall it has been a labor of love I started uh, about two years ago, I started the booth during the pandemic and I said to myself that this was the time uh, to go ahead and do it. Even though a lot of things were still shut down, they had a space that was open and I decided to rent a uh, eight by 10 booth and it has been the best thing that I could have done for uh, this craft hobby that has turned into a business and it's a very rewarding business at the same time so um the next evolution of this will be to bring a lot of my pieces my smaller pieces to my online website that i'm currently working on and still getting that prepared but it's in the works It'll feature a blog, uh, photography of my pieces, maybe some nature for photography. Today is a beautiful day. The forsythia bush in my backyard is blooming, and I would love to just be out there right now getting some wonderful pictures of the forsythia bush. But there's other things that I really want to get to and I, that I want to share. So, um... Uh, I'm a little nervous doing this, but again, you know, the best way to begin a new endeavor, and this is just a offshoot of my endeavor that has been building over several years. And the next logical thing for me to do is to start uploading videos and sharing my passion for uh, finding old vintage or perhaps antique items that would not necessarily fit in today's modern decor and make them over, give them new life and make them something that people would like to see in their decor. Some things need repairs. Some things, even though they may be dated, uh, are trending again. They may not need repairs. They just made it a little cleaning. Um, so without further ado, I am going to get into it. Uh, first up, uh, I am a big fan of candlesticks. And one of the things that I noticed at the thrift store 
is I had to stay away from candlesticks for the longest time for the latter part of 2022 because their prices were astronomical. It was the same price of what you would pay in a regular store. And what is the purpose of going to a thrift store if you're gonna pay full price for an item? Well, things are starting to taper off and there is an abundance of items at the thrift store that are um, more profitable for me to restyle and make over. Uh, so on my uh, latest thrifting adventure with my daughter, uh, this is a candlestick that I picked up. Uh, it's, uh, I don't think that this is a very old piece, but this sticker on it, on the bottom of it looks pretty old. Uh, I paid $309 for this, uh, and I'll probably put this in my booth and sell it for about $15 once it's been cleaned and restyled. All right, next up. These right here, I looked up online and I actually saw it wasn't easy to find them. I use Google Lens if I have an item. Here's the matching one, these two uh, finials. And they make great shelf sitters and they're very interesting pieces. And the color, the brown, I mean, if you're a brown, if brown is part of your decor, this could really work, but I like to, my furniture, you know, is, you know, dark wood. Um, so this color, I would like to, if I were to include this in my own decor, these colors I would repaint. The only reason that I haven't rushed to repaint these yet is I've looked these particular items up they're very heavy and there is something just very unique about them so when i look them up on google lens this these are actually vintage items um i paid 4.99 for the larger one and 2.99 for the smaller one i am trying to resist the urge to paint these uh, considering that they are a vintage item but like i said not everything that is vintage carries value the value is what someone is willing to pay for them and if these just sit and don't sell um there's not much that that can be done in this current state to make it be something that someone would want to include in their current modern farmhouse decor or their french country decor or shabby chic which are all things that i try to incorporate in my own decor and in my vintage booth. All right, we're gonna put these to the side. And next up, let's see, another pillar, candle pillar. All right, now this is a very dated looking item, but with the right kind of paint, um and some distressing maybe some antiquing wax this will be beautiful and this pillar i picked this up for 209 i'm pretty sure just based on the original sticker that was on here the it says made in india um and Let's see, for 209 again, you know, most of my candles I'll put in my booth. This one I would price around $14.95 or $15.95. Next up, let's see, is I am convinced that this used to be a the base of a can of a lamp. Uh, I may be wrong, but this is a pretty heavy, uh, and it has all the hardware and it has this hole right here. And it also has this telltale hole on the bottom. I paid 409 for this. Someone made it over into a candle pillar, which I love. Um, but some of the paint around here, it just wasn't very even. So 
I think I'll keep the co co the original color white. Go back over it with one of my own paint, um, homemade paint, chalk paint variations, and just give this some new life. Um, but yes, uh, candle uh, candle bases, lamp bases, lamp bases are a great way to create. Uh, Lamp bases are a great restyled or repurposed item that if you can find them at the right price, they make great shelf sitters. They make great um, just uh, candle holders. If you put a topper on it, uh, a wood topper, and I mean, they're just absolutely beautiful. They're so ornate and if you look at the detail of it all and the person that did this they did a really good job but it's just I, I would have went all the way through with the color instead of just leaving the brand the pops of brown out okay next up I found two wooden candlesticks um, and let's see, I paid $5 for the pair. Uh, normally I could get these for about a dollar each, but these have been in short supply. So I just figured I'd go ahead and grab them uh, for the pair. Uh, these would be placed in my booth and I would sell them for roughly $13.95. So I don't think that's a bad price um considering you know it's a it's a pair and they've been in short supply and these always move pretty quick in my booth so next up we have another candle holder again this is a dated piece definitely i wouldn't say that it's a vintage piece but it was a great price. Uh, this color, it's got the gold trim around it. Definitely in need of a restyle. I paid $2.62 for this. Uh, and again, I would restyle this, give it some nice paint, and um, put it in my booth, uh, $15.95. Now, this is my first time coming across these cross-stitch hoops but what I have noticed with a lot of crafters and thrifters these cross stitch hoops these are vintage um, and they're all the rage to to use and create different vignettes on the wall so I was very fortunate this time to get my hand on these so it looks like there's one two three there are two large ones and a small one, and I paid $1.99 for it. So I was pretty excited when I got my hands on that. And let's see, this right here, anytime you, this is just a random wood tray or a piece of wood. Um, uh, let's see, this looks like it was, this is a vintage piece. Based, just based on the sticker, and it says Decatur Industries, Inc., made in the USA. And it also says that this is genuine walnut. And what I'm seeing is a lot of wood tones are in style right now. I try not to keep up with the trend or the style. Um, again, this color wood is still just a little too dark for my taste. Uh but I think this would make a nice little tray to place on a uh, this would make a nice tray to place on a coffee table or to attach to another piece and make a marriage of when two become one. So I paid a dollar and one cents for this little tray right here. Uh, it's got the felt backing on it. Uh, that's usually a telltale tell -tell sign for me uh, that this is, you know, a vintage piece. Um, but it's always good to just have random round pieces of wood that you can utilize later in other projects. 
Next up is this slice of birch wood and it was a dollar and nine cents. These make great risers. There's nothing that I need to do to this other than put it in my booth and style it. Maybe put a couple of painted birds on top of it. Um, the possibilities are endless. This was a dollar oh nine, and this would go in my booth, and I would sell it for eleven ninety five. Okay, let's see. Now these are older pieces uh, that I picked up maybe a couple of years ago. Very dated. It's got these little flowers, these little metal flowers on here. These would definitely need to have some sort of a makeover for sure. I can't remember exactly how much they were, but um, at the time when I got these, uh, I remember the day that I got these, I said, there's no way that I'm going to pay more than a dollar. So when I picked these up, they couldn't have been more than a dollar. Uh, and the same goes, the same holds true for these as well um they're a little bent and they are in desperate need of a paint job and a, a makeover so we'll do something different um large one and a medium sized one so but together they make such a great little vignette i can't wait to see how these come out and let's see also corbels corbels these were three dollars and 23 cents and they're not heavy it's more for decorative purposes but nevertheless corbels painted up styled play, put a shelf over the top um these will just look absolutely beautiful in you know any decor setting and let's see next i found this uh this ball uh what do you call them um is it a, a newel post post topper um this was 209 I, well, maybe it's not a topper because it has this little stopper on here. So maybe it's the base of a uh, chair or a table of some sort. There was only one. If there were more, I would have grabbed all of them because there's so many possibilities to what I can do with this. Again, this wouldn't be used for its intended purpose because, again, I only got one. Um, so it would definitely be made over into something new, something cute, uh, probably a riser is what I'm seeing once I remove the, uh, the screw that's in here. So I paid 209 for that and with a piece of wood and some, uh, glue, uh, this would be a beautiful piece to just add to a vignette in your decor and uh, risers it just depending on the varying degree of the work that I put into it and the amount of paint needed and you know all kind of variables uh, this I would retail in my booth for about 12 or 13.95 all right a lot of the other pieces or items that were not from my recent thrift haul but um they you know will have their own time in the sun when i showcase the finished product uh this was a nice little piece right here this is uh pretty dated but and even though it's that brownish kind of color um before I do any makeover to this, I got this for $209 and it opens. There's no chips to it or anything. It's just a nice little crock. And it's absolutely beautiful. So I, I think I'll leave this 
if anything i'll maybe put an iod um sticker on it for that french country vibe but for right now uh, i'm not sure exactly what i'm going to do with this one but it won't get much of a makeover if i do anything to it at all um let's see next up is All right, this is a little metal container, a little metal caddy. Uh, someone used it uh, maybe for a baby shower. Oh, it says advice, uh, advice for the parents to be. Oh, that was cute. So um, this may have said on a baby shower uh, table. I think that's that's very cute. I will paint over this right here uh, with some erase these this lettering and paint over it with some more chalk paint, and that's all that really needs to be done with this piece right here. And then uh, let's see. So I paid three three oh nine for this piece. Uh, this will sell for about thirteen ninety five. Also, I found this cute, cute little basket. Uh, it may be some sort of a utensil holder, uh, but it's just a, a cute little wire, um, chicken wire metal basket. And it was $1.09. It's got cute little handles on it. I won't do much to this. I may paint the handles for spring, some pretty light blue color. Uh, other than that, this will go in my booth and I will sell it for $8.95. And uh, this was a piece that I had hoped to get to in time for Valentine's Day. But unfortunately, I did not. And when I got home, I realized one of the little knobs was missing off of it. But it's a, it's a vintage jewelry case and it... Uh, I paid two oh nine for it, and I'll put this in my booth for twenty ninety five. I'll paint it up uh, so it doesn't look dated. Give it a, a fresh new look. You don't necessarily have to put jewelry in it. And actually, let me just take the wrap off of it. You can just use it as a cubby to store little little items inside of it so yeah that was a great find and let's see next up oh my goodness yes I found all of these decorative balls these were not together this is a basket a galvanized metal basket with a wooden base and let's see i paid 409 from this this looks like something that might have came from hobby lobby or maybe marshall's uh the balls were a dollar and nine cents a piece um, and I just thought that was just such a great buy. They're not very heavy. I'm contemplating if I am going to paint them over. I really love some of the colors of the balls that have this um, metal kind of look to them. The one that's red, I would definitely paint that over. And especially with spring coming up, I would love to have, you know, some, some more, you know, lighter um colors inside of this basket so um i am not sure if i am going to sell this as a set or sell the balls individually and if you know a customer wants to you know buy both uh but for the basket i would sell this for 17.95 
and the balls the balls would definitely be a set they just wouldn't be a set with the basket um uh, let's see we've got one two three four five six six balls that i paid a dollar and nine cents for they would come together as a grouping and um i have to think about what kind of price and what kind of grouping i would do with these particular items and let's see now my daughter she's got a great eye she loves teapots and we found this cute little teapot this i will not have to do anything extra to i'll plop some greenery inside of it there was not a lid on it um, and it's really just more for decorative purposes. Even if this was something that had the lid to it, I still wouldn't use it to, you know, put hot water or anything of that nature in. And I paid three oh nine for this. This would go in my booth for nineteen ninety five with some sprigs of the um, the boxwood greenery. So that was a great. Fine. She's got a great eye. You would be surprised at the things that she can spot um, that I just completely miss. And baskets. I cannot explain the trend of baskets that have been selling in my booth lately. At one point, I had too many baskets, uh, but a lot of my baskets have sold. I'm down to maybe one or two baskets in my booth. So I thought, well, let me go ahead. And if baskets are a trend right now, again, I try not to, to keep up with the trend, uh, but they're selling. So this is a great time for baskets, uh, not necessarily baskets that you would use for Easter, but um, I have a few baskets that hang on my wall as decor, again, as a, a just a little statement on the wall, a vignette of varying different shapes and sizes of baskets. And it just makes such a beautiful fe feature on an empty wall. So uh, this basket I paid three oh nine for, and it's got so many unique details to it. Uh, so, so much different texture. So um, this, I, my daughter says I need to make it over that it needs a different color we'll see and let's see let's see do i have anything else left over no that was it okay so what did you think of my thrift haul from uh, for my what okay so what did you think of my thrift haul for my first official thrift haul video of 2023 uh, I think I scored some really great deals I'm glad the prices are starting to fall at the thrift store and making it more wor worthwhile for me to get in there and be on the hunt uh, for some some great deals and again I my next video may be, you know, where I'm in regular clothes and I'm not in my my paint clothes or it may just still be in my paint clothes. But again, the most important thing for me to do is just keep these videos real, show you the real me. This is the real me with overalls. Uh, no, I'm not walking around town in my overalls uh, unless I just really am in a pinch and ran out of something and need to get it done. But for the most part... I 2023 20, thrift haul video. Be sure if you like this kind of content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until the next time, uh, I'll uh, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for joining us at the flip out.